actually, and congratulations. Not just one, but two great wins so far this week. How are you feeling your week's going so far? Yes, it's true that I had a great week so far, and I'm very pleased uh, with these two victories, and especially today against Joe Woodfield. It's never easy to play against him, uh, especially here in France, in Paris. Uh, in indoors, he's very, very powerful, very good. So now, obviously, I'm very happy. And how thankful are you to the tournament for giving you a wild card? You've really repaid their faith in you this week. I hope so. I hope I showed that I deserved it. And uh, I thank a lot uh, the Guy Forger and the French Tennis Federation to for the wild card. And uh, I hope it's not the it's not the the end for me. And uh, I will uh, I will continue to play like this tomorrow. And it's Goffin or Manorino next. Do you mind who you play, given the confidence you must have at the moment? Yes, I don't mind. I'm, I know that it's going to be difficult anyway. So, David and uh, Adrian, uh, they have a very, very good year for, for themselves. Uh, Adrian is uh, at his best uh, ranking ever, and, uh, and David Goffin is in uh, contention for the um, ATP Tour uh, finals. So, I'm sure, uh, for sure, tomorrow it's going to be difficult, but. Uh, I will try to do everything to be ready for tomorrow. And finally, can we get your thoughts on Rafa securing year-end number one today? It's been a great year for guys in their 30s. Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, totally deserved, uh, of course. And uh, Roger had a, an incredible year, and he's not finishing number one. So it shows a lot that uh, on, on what uh, Rafa did uh, this year to to earn this spot. And uh, he's a great tennis player, great ambassador for tennis also, so he's uh, a perfect number one uh, for the tennis. Best of luck in the next round. Thank you very much. Thank you.